Hello, my name is Michael Minton. I'm with the law firm of Dean Mead. I practice uh, primarily tax law, represent uh, generationally owned family businesses, but have spent much of my career working on water law issues. I've been very proud of my role on the Central Florida Water Initiative and in uh, representation of the business community of Central Florida. And we've made great strides in working with the water management districts, the three districts that uh, manage water throughout Central Florida, along with uh, governmental organizations, the business community, environmental groups, and the public sector. Uh, one of the things that we've uh, learned through CFWI is that while the strength of the water management districts was developed based on uh, their boundaries, which are on watersheds, uh, how water drains from the surface, we all are allocating uh, the same water source for consumptive use or our uh, water use permits, which is the Florida aquifer. And if the districts don't collaborate and cooperate with one another on how they allocate that, re that resource, we can over allocate that resource and end up with a water shortage. So CFWI is giving us a roadmap on how to address those issues and have the districts work closely together uh, so as we don't over allocate that precious resource. The future of being able to address water in Florida and the needs of uh, Floridians is in the agribusiness community. They have the land on which these projects need to be built. So we need to have much closer collaboration and cooperation between uh, the agribusiness community, our water management districts, and uh, the general public. The federally authorized Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan, what we refer to as SERP, was developed in the early 2000s. It's designed to capture fresh water and prevent it from going to tide. It's designed to help restore the Everglades and to deal with the discharges coming from Lake Okeechobee and the discharges that come out of our canal system that adversely affect the lagoons, both in the Inner River Lagoon and, and uh, coming out of the Loosahatchee. In addition to that, we have a state water bill that was adopted in 2016, which also looks at the Everglades, looks at discharges to the estuaries, and deals with the water needs of our precious springs that are located throughout Central and North Florida. The Clean Waterways Act is a significant effort uh, that we're watching very closely in Tallahassee. It addresses a number of water quality efforts and I think will be a great step forward as we work to uh, build the rest of the infrastructure needed to deal with the water management system and to provide for sustainability of our water system into the future.